guys. If you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos, and vlogs. So if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to the fourth moving vlog, you guys. If you guys have been watching my moving vlogs, you guys know what these are. I received my coffee table and my nightstands today. It's actually 8 o'clock right now. I finished work and then I immediately went into a podcast interview with my friend Tess who runs Busy Blooming. I know you guys know Tess probably, but I had so much fun. And then I packed up some more stuff, brought it over to the new place, and that's where we're at right now. I need to say this now or else I won't do it. I'm determined to build these things tonight and I don't care how late it is. I'm not going to the gym today because this is my workout. So, <laughs> oh boy. If you guys are new here, I'm 24 years old, living alone for the first time ever, and I actually have to buy a lot of the things in my apartment because a lot of the stuff in my previous apartment was owned by my roommates, so a lot of the kitchen stuff was mine, which is why I'm waiting to do the kitchen stuff last, but almost done with the living room, almost done with the bedroom. I still need to figure out like a storage thing for the bedroom, but we're in this whole process of moving, living alone together, and it's time to build my coffee table, my nightstand. I think that's everything. Let's just go ahead and get started on, let's do the coffee table first. Here is what we're making. I chose a rectangular coffee table. I was going back and forth between a circular one and a rectangular one, but since there's so much space between the chase and the end of my sofa, I actually went with a rectangular one. So we'll see. We'll see. It says two people recommended. Well, there's one of me. So let's just see how this goes. table is reversible so the top is glass but then the bottom layer or tier of the coffee table could either be this side or this. I actually think the concrete side looks better. Huh, I don't know. Okay well we'll decide which side but I just I like that it's reversible and like, honestly you guys, this was like really cheap and I feel like it looks really good considering it came a little bit damaged, but I'm leaning towards doing the concrete side, honestly, just because I feel like it goes with like the, I don't know. We'll see. I hope you meant it. Don't be embarrassed, no. Baby, it ain't just you. table was actually so easy to make but let me show you oh my god I'm obsessed I went with the darker bottom tier just because I feel like it's a little bit I don't know I just I think that this looks a little bit nicer than the fake marble oh my god I just think it's so pretty what do you guys think okay here's how it would look if I did the faux marble background I don't know so here's what that looks like and then here is the concrete. It's actually really easy to switch them, so please, you guys, comment below and let me know what you guys think. I'll show you guys in the morning too, but I think I'm leaning towards the concrete. I just think it, I kind of like that it's like dark because it goes with the lamp. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. Okay, guys, I was gonna start my nightstands, but then I went to go recycle the the box for the coffee table and I was like I'm hungry and then I realized I didn't eat dinner so I've been trying to not spend money on food but like I actually just don't have food here and I don't even have food at my old apartment right now so I did get kava and you know we have to break in the new coffee table with some kava <laughs> well first impressions of this coffee table are that it's so nice you guys this coffee table was only $130 from Amazon 
And I think like, you know, I think you get what you pay for. It was $130. I think it looks really, really nice. Like, I don't think you could tell that it's $130, but I will say like the faux marble slash reversible faux concrete. You can definitely tell it's just like manufactured wood with some contact paper on it. I've been saying this in every single one of my moving vlogs, but choose the things that you want to invest in and that doesn't have to be everything. So for me, a coffee table was not really something I wanted to invest in until I guess I buy a house. $130 coffee table that's huge, looks really nice. I think it's a steal. So if you guys are interested in this coffee table, I'll link it below. And I'm gonna try to make like an Amazon storefront when I have everything all done. I like that the edges are like matte black instead of like a shiny black metal. And the tempered glass top is really nice. I really like it. I'm gonna eat some of this and then get started on the nightstands. Maybe I'll just make one today if one takes a long time, but take a guess right now on what the nightstands are and then just wait and see if you were right. Because I asked you guys between a dark gray wooden one, a light gray wooden one, and then a black and gold one. So let's just see if you were right. Guys, there's... Let me just show you. It's 9.43. Let's just see how long one takes me. I will make one. I will make one. Finna get loose. Ooh. Pardon me if I play on occasion. They like doing a more like Michael Serber. Never was a type to feel like saying it. Never was a type to go and take it. Gentlemen, the way my mama raised me. Yeah, she prayed for me since I was a baby. Now my life is over there by angels. Now my life's obtaining on the paper. Yeah. Oh, I grew up. Take a spin on the back row. With your hands flying out the window. With your hand nothing but mileage. I'll pick you up. I got you. I got you. I got you. I'll pick you up. I got you. I got you. I got you. Stay pop, full size, summertime 14. Splash of cool water, you let you know me. Wear your arms tight like a chain. I didn't notice this, and I swear it wasn't on it before. I think this must have come with a chip. That makes me really sad because I paid like $160 for one of these nightstands. I'm gonna email Wayfair and see what they say. Maybe they can just send me like one replacement drawer or something, but. That makes me really sad. It's so pretty though. Very, very nice. And then I'm also going to get rid of those pillows. Those pillows are probably going to go on the couch in the living room, but for now they're just going to stay there. They're just feeling boho -y now, but I'm going to get pillows and then they're going to go on the couch. And I think it'll all look very, very nice. Okay, well, I'm delusional at this point, so I'm going to go to bed. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when I make the other nightstand or maybe on Friday, but at least I made one by myself. Thomas, I know you're watching and I know you're happy that I made one, but you're going to have to help me make the other. Good night. <laughs>have some more packages coming this week so I'm gonna wait for tomorrow for the rest of my packages to come but like this thing I actually just want to open it like right now I got salt lamp night lights guys one of you guys actually told me about salt lamps and like how they're air purifying and honestly when I wake up in the middle of the night and I need to go to the bathroom sometimes I just kind of want to keep the lights off because I'm like already asleep anyways and I figured that's like a perfect use for a night light when I have to pee at night because I'm like sleep. So I got this set of two night lights from Amazon. Okay, so let's just see what it looks like. Okay, ooh, nice. It's really pretty. The light bulb is already in it, which is good. So here is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And let's just plug it in. Where I really want to put it is right here. Hello? It's so cute. Okay, well, it's like kind of huge. At least it's here. What if I put it in the bottom one? Oh my God, it's so pretty. It kind of sucks that it's like right next to the outlet, but I just want some sort of light in the bathroom so that like probably really grainy, but when the lights are off, at least you can kind of make your way through. I don't know.
know, what do you guys think? I think it's really cute. This is the perfect example of like, they didn't think this through. <laughs> like this ring shouldn't go like right. I guess it's fine. And then the other thing I got is this roller stamp so that I don't have to ever like blur out unit number and I can just roll this stamp on my packages. So hopefully that will be really nice. And then I got my second lamp. So I got a second one of those to put right there and I was so excited, but I'm going to make this tomorrow. It's actually like 10 o'clock right now and I just need to go to sleep. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday when it's the weekend, but I just wanted to show you guys and I just like had to open salt lamps right away. So there's that, but happy Thursday. Not much new today. I feel like I forgot to show you guys what my living room looked like in the daylight, but I'll show you that tomorrow when I make everything. So I promise I'll show you tomorrow, but for now, good night. Uh, happy weekend first of all it's Friday thank god it's the weekend I feel like this week was so long last week felt long and this week felt like even longer so happy weekend so those bags that you guys saw me bring down were most of my kitchen and like pantry stuff so this weekend we're tackling the kitchen and like kitchen organization I had to get new plates which I got I'm really excited about them I got this on sale from Bed Bath & Beyond. Like, I think I ordered it yesterday. They were doing some sale and this was 30% off. So I got four of each. Like I got like cereal bowls, regular bowls, salad plates, and dinner plates, four of each for $63. And just like, look at how pretty they are. They're stoneware. So they're dishwasher and microwave safe. And they're like speckled if you can look really closely. So I'm going to put these in the dishwasher and wash them so that they're clean but I need to handle, I just need to figure out all the pantry stuff today. But speaking of the kitchen, I don't think I showed you guys this yet. I did get these two pans from HomeSense. I needed new pans because the ones that I have now are just like disgusting and so like, I have to throw them out because they're just really gross and used. So I got new pans. This is from the brand Dean and & White and I got them from HomeSense. They're so pretty. This was only $13 and just like look at how beautiful this pan is, it's so nice. I like that it has a rubber handle so you never have to burn yourself. And I especially like if you guys are getting new pans that are not like stainless steel, I'm like not ready for the stainless steel stuff yet. I just would mess those up. But these nonstick pans definitely get a black or speckled black nonstick pan if you do choose to get them just because they will wear over time. And as you like burn your food throughout the year, like you won't really see it on this. Whereas the blue pan that I have at my old place, it just got so dirty so fast because of like one time that I burned like salmon or something on it. So definitely get dark colored pans if you need new pans. And then I got, oh my God. And then this is the thing that I'm actually really excited for. This is a wok. And it came with this lid. Isn't that so nice? It's from the same brand and it's an 11 inch wok if you guys were interested. And it's the same like nonstick thing. And this was $20 with the lid, which I think is just so good. So got that for the kitchen. Finally unboxed my plates. And then one more thing that I got for the kitchen. We're gonna go over here. This is the last thing that I got from HomeSense for the kitchen. You guys. Oh my God, you guys. These wine glasses are like a dupe of the Crate and Barrel ones. The Crate and Barrel ones are $13 for one. And I got four for 24, like $6. It's literally half the price. They're pretty similar to like the trending shape of these wine glasses, but I will say that the Crate and Barrel ones are a lot nicer. Like the Crate and Barrel ones are a lot nicer in the sense that they're much like thinner. So this may look thin to you, but the Crate and Barrel ones are even thinner than this. So I think this is a really good dupe for half the price. For it to look like almost identical, I'm totally cool with it. I just think they look so chic. So we're gonna wash all that stuff today 
and I brought all of my pantry stuff, which I'm just like dreading. And I still need to make this nightstand and I think something else is, I still need to put together the lamp. Something else is definitely coming today. Oh, I ordered lamps for my nightstands too. And I'm really excited to show you guys because those were a freaking steal. They were a steal, I'm telling you. So that's all later, but I'm gonna go move some more stuff and I'll see you guys soon. But happy Friday. I was gonna take a nap, but I like feel fine. I don't know, maybe I just need more caffeine. Let's go move some more stuff. <laughs> because I need to get utensils and like flatware, but I need to return these from Target. So I'm gonna do an exchange later today or this weekend. These used to be my bathroom drawer, but since there's no handles, I would always just spill things on them when I would pick them up when like I was washing my face and stuff. So I'm gonna return these because, because I found these, which I can fit vertically, which is so much better because I can fit so much more stuff now in my bathroom drawer. And I found these at HomeSense too, so. And then, Oh my god, here's how the salt lamp is doing. It's so cute. That's seriously it. Back to moving more stuff. Oh my gosh. Where's my boyfriend? Okay, you guys, this is all I'm bringing at the moment. So here we have all my like kitchen and pantry stuff. Not, <laughs> there's like barely anything in my fridge right now at the other place. So this is just strictly pantry stuff. And then I brought my jewelry and all of my makeup and like other everyday jewelry is in there. So how about we take a break from moving everything and start unpacking. Clever, clever, you guys. I can actually use these that I got from Target in this weird narrow part. It's actually like pretty big, like it holds a lot of stuff but it'll be easier if I have them in this. So I'm gonna repurpose them. They're not gonna go in my bathroom. They're gonna go in my pantry. It's actually really good because I'm pretty sure these were each like two bucks. Like they were really, really cheap anyways. Like the acrylic ones from Target would be like 12 or something for one. So I think this is pretty good. How about we do that? Only one would chase it. Think I may be falling in love. I've been getting into you. Feelings like this take a minute or two And I've been staying up to three Thinking about you got me losing my sanity And I really love the way we bled And I'm trying to play it cool but I just can't pretend Cause usually we start as friends But we're skipping the beginning never getting to end Cause you need me and I need you tonight Okay, you guys, I put together the second lamp and here's how it looks. And I realized I'm finally showing you guys what the coffee table looks like in the daylight. I really love it. Whoa. Oh my God. I think it's so pretty. What do you guys think? I love how it's symmetrical and I actually really like that it adds height to this wall because I don't know if I want to put art on that wall, but maybe I'll put art on that wall because maybe I can just leave this blank. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm liking the vibes. I'm liking how this looks, you guys. Vibe number one, vibe number two. <laughs> And then I need to figure out my standing desk and bring all of my work from home stuff this weekend too, but I'll probably do that on Sunday. Oh no, this does not look good. So we're just gonna keep this closed, but I will figure out organization for kitchen stuff over time. I don't really see that as like an, an immediate thing, but I definitely liked having bins for things. And these were just so, so cheap from Target. So I might get more of these to store more things, but all of my non McCormick spices because Catherine, my best friend got me like this whole spice rack, but these are like the random oils and spices and stuff. Here I have all of my jars like of peanut butter and I have like pizza sauce, some beans, I have pasta sauce, and then I have my built bars in the back. 
I have some chips up there, some noodles, some other bars that my dad gives me from work. And then the second shelf is kind of like my wellness shelf, I guess. So this is my pre-workout and then all of my smoothie stuff is back here, my vitamins, super greens and my collagen. And then all of this is like my medicine cabinet stuff. So I kind of like the separation between like everyday things, wellness, and then up there is like baking stuff. So I have like oats, flour, cornstarch, sugar, cocoa powder, and then a huge thing of olive oil. So that's what we have there. And then my plates and stuff are gonna go up there. What I'm thinking is that I'm gonna do like cups on these cupboards and then any other leftover bowls and stuff I'll probably put in this cupboard. Pots and pans in here. And then in this side pantry, it's pretty bare, which like I'm okay with. On the bottom shelf, I have all of <laughs> On the bottom shelf, I have all of my like instant ramen and stuff. It's pretty embarrassing. And then here I have like noodles. So all of my pasta. Here's what I really like. Here I have all of my teas. What's nice about these Target plastic bins is that you can stack them. So I really like that for this reason. So I have all of my tea bags here. And then below that I have all of my matcha. And then behind it, I have my, and then behind it, I have my Korean burdock tea that my mom makes me. And then here I just have other random boxes of things. So I just have soup, the heart of palm pasta from Trader Joe's. And then I have some curry and pizza stuff. And then up here, I just have random like snack things. So this is Japanese panko breadcrumbs. And then this is Korean seaweed flakes. So that's kind of all I really have right now. My fridge is still really bare because I don't have anything just yet, but I'll move that over later on. I think I actually did a pretty good job. The only thing left now is just the nightstand. I think I'm gonna turn off the camera and do the nightstand just cause I already showed you guys like the whole making of the first one. So I'll talk to you guys when Thomas gets here. I think he should probably get here in like two hours maybe. So we'll see if I'm done the nightstand by then, but that's what's next on my agenda. And then yeah, pretty good. I'm actually really glad that I got a lot of my pantry stuff done because I was like dreading that and my makeup, and, like my nail polish and stuff, like all of that's in this, this suitcase, but that's for later. Talk to you guys later when Thomas is here. Hi guys, it's actually very late right now on Friday night. Guess who's here? Hello. <laughs> Our friends Simon and Elise were actually here for dinner. They came by because they wanted to drop off a housewarming gift and you guys, Look what they got me. First of all, they got me a bottle of Grey Goose, but that's not the point of this here. You guys, they got me. <laughs> they got me the Tom Ford coffee book. Oh my God. I'm sorry you guys, but you can only be supporters of this book because this was such a thoughtful gift and just thank you so much, Simon and Elise. I seriously love it. And I feel like it just pulls together the coffee table so much more now. I love it. So coffee table book and I don't think I showed you guys, but the pillows, the black and white like dotted pillows that were in my bedroom, I took the covers out of that and I got these velvet covers, of course, courtesy of Kiva, but she recommended these as like her top Amazon finds and I think that they just look so pretty. I feel like they tie in together very well with the rest of the black accents in the living room. But yeah, oh my God, you guys, isn't this just such a vibe? I love it. And then the last thing that we have to do today is, oh, so we got these, <laughs> these look silly, but these are the table lamps that I chose for the bedroom. And I think that they were put on wrong. They rotate freely. They can be rotated. So yeah. the wire just has to go, oh, you fixed it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just... You guys will see what I mean when it's done, but it actually looks really cool. These are sconces. I went for sconces instead of table lamps because I just wanted to be able to have like all of the nightstand space for like whatever. So. I don't know, it's trying, I'm trying to tie in the minimal stuff. And before I forget, Thomas finished, I did half of it, you guys, but Thomas finished the second nightstand. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now we just have to finish the table lamps and, and then I'll show you what everything looks like. But this is the only thing left on our like assembling agenda today. My clothes look real good on you. T-shirt with the rainbow stripe. That song is a luxury, also seeks your company. Let's get each other up to speed. Yeah, yeah. I can see the vista up 
up your heels in a silhouette up on the stair. Got it brush truck with the canvas jam. Gotta let the paint dry. Burn bed, make us feel fine. Body heat, make Whoa, oh my god, it looks so cool, Thomas. Okay, you guys, we finally finished the sconces. It was actually kind of a pain because they wanted us to drill the holes into the wall and I didn't want to do that because I'm not dealing with that at the end of my lease. So we ended up using command strips and not the ones with the Velcro on it. We tried the Velcro ones and it just didn't work. So we tried the poster board ones, which ended up, apparently Thomas said they're like actually stronger anyways. And we did it. You guys, this looks so nice. Let me show you. Here's my beautiful rug and... Oh my God, you guys, it looks so cool. <laughs> We did our best to measure everything and make sure everything was in the right height and straightness. And I think this looks pretty freaking good. What do you guys think? They're actually the perfect length between the nightstand and the top. So I think all that's missing now is a headboard. And then that's kind of really all I want for this part of the bed. If I get a headboard, I don't think I want any art or anything above the bed. I just want the lights to speak for themselves. And I think they do, you guys. This looks freaking sick. This looks so cool. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so cool. I feel like I'm in a hotel in a good way. Uh, Thomas is honestly so much more patient than I am, and he wanted it to be so much more exact. Yeah, it paid off. <laughs> Look at it. It did pay off. It looks so cool. Well, that's the last thing that we're gonna do today. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. <laughs> we're gonna chill for the rest of the day well it's like nighttime anyways it's like time for bed but i'll talk to you guys tomorrow when we do some more apartment things i think i just have to get like utensils and stuff and put my dishes away because i'm washing them right now in the dishwasher and then and then yeah happy friday oh my god i can't believe we did this this looks so much more complete oh my god thomas it looks so cool say good night good night good night because my mom and my sister and my brother-in-law are here to see the place so I'm excited because I'm gonna show you me showing them how the place is looking and I don't know that's just like I'm excited to bring you guys more on like more personal parts of my life and even in this whole moving process so I'm just quickly getting ready I'm literally doing nothing other than brows liquid blush and mascara that's like really all I'm gonna do today because I'm in so much of a rush I just want to show you what the place looks like in like the morning slash daylight because I think it's so different. It's so different of experience to see an apartment in natural daylight and everything. All done. I'm going to do whatever leftover powder is on this brush. I'm just going to, that's all I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my God. My mom and my sister are here. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm like everywhere right now. Excuse me. <laughs> but... Oh my god! Okay, so here's how the bedroom looks in the morning. I love the light. Like the upper light is off, but it, I just have my sconces on. Wow, this is so pretty. I can't get over it. And then here's how the place looks in the morning. Wow, it's so pretty. You guys, the Tom Ford book seriously just pulls everything together. And I think it makes the coffee table like bottom layer look so nice too. It just kind of, it pulls everything in. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so pretty. And then I brought my espresso over, and that's kind of it. So I'm gonna go get my mom, and I will see you guys soon. But <laughs> I love this place. I just love this place. Oh my god, I live here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> wow, it looks beautiful. Mom is a natural. <gasps> no, wait, really? I love it. Mommy, stop I it. I love the wall mom. lights and. Wait, do you really? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Being natural. I love the sofa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no, wait, really though, how do you like the place? Oh my gosh, it looks bigger. 
I know. Yeah, that's what I was it saying. Bigger. It looks way bigger with the. Oh, oh it's so <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> it's so smooth. <laughs> Please stop. Mom likes it. Okay, you guys, it's 6 p.m. right now. We just came back from Bed Bath & Beyond. I want to show you guys what I got because... I think I'm actually done buying all of the like functional things for this place. The only thing, truly the only thing that's left now in terms of moving is like my bullet journal supplies. And then I have two random boxes to bring over from my old place and something else. And oh, and all of my work from home stuff. So maybe I'll make that a separate video for you guys and do like my last moving vlog video just because I feel like that will be pretty extensive and I feel like this video already is pretty long in terms of moving. So that's just a little bit about what my thoughts are right now. But I do wanna do a mini Bed Bath & Beyond haul with you guys. Something that I really needed for this place was flatware. Hi! Something I really needed for this place was flatware and I was going back and forth if I should get a set for four or a set for eight and I was thinking and if I ever have guests over like if you get a set for four you only have four dinner forks and then the rest are salad forks so I don't know I'll just take this wherever with me wherever I move if I move in with Thomas in the future or just move in somewhere else I could have this literally forever well I don't know but Thomas said that this brand is really popular too and it's very well known and reliable so I got the Zwelling 45 piece set service for eight and it's called the Opus Satin. It's like a satin stainless steel. So I think it looks really nice. It comes with eight dinner knives, dinner forks, dinner spoons, salad forks, teaspoons, and then it even comes with like serving spoons, so bigger ones. So this is definitely on the more expensive side, I think, because you could get flatware on Amazon or Target for really cheap but I just wanted to get something pretty good quality, something that would last me a really long time. So this was just one of my investment pieces for my place. Then, oh my God. Okay, this cookie jar <laughs> was only $12. I'm gonna use this for my Nespresso pods and my coffee corner. So I'm really excited for that. I got an oil dispenser. That was only $5, which is nice. Um, I got a mixing bowl just cause I can never have too many. And I always like to toss salads and stuff in this. So, got that. Got some sunscreen, because it was cheap there. And then I just got a three-piece non-stick baking sheet pan set, because the one that I have right now is like really old and rusty. So, I needed a new one of that. It was only like $10 too. That was our mini Bed Bath & Beyond haul. And, okay, and Thomas already put it away for me, how nice. But the very last thing that I got was this. It's a slim toilet bowl cleaner. I think it's as modern as a toilet bowl cleaner will look. So that is our mini Bed Bath & Beyond haul. I think I did pretty good. I did end up using my 20% off one item for the flatware. So I got it for 20% off. Definitely recommend you do that if you do want to invest in your flatware. Go to Bed Bath & Beyond to get that 20% off one item coupon and you get to save some money. That's everything for right now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I feel really tired. I don't know why, but let's just put everything away. And then I'm probably done with moving stuff today and I'll just do the rest tomorrow, but maybe. to end the vlog here today. 
I hope you guys had fun coming along with me on a couple of days of moving in my life. I, would, I don't really know if I would call this a whole week of moving in my life because I think I started this on Wednesday or Tuesday. I don't know, but I'm on the tail end of finishing all of my moving stuff. I'm gonna film my whole entire day tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be my last day of moving content and everything. After that, it's kind of just me living in this place the whole time. So lots more apartment decor and figuring stuff out in this apartment. But in terms of moving everything from my old place to my new place, that should be ending tomorrow. And tomorrow is when the Wi-Fi also starts. I feel like functionally, almost everything is done in this place. Now it's just kind of decor and stuff that I intentionally saved for last or else I would just spend way too much money. We did so much moving stuff this week. I built my nightstands, finished up the living room more, my coffee table, and moved all of my kitchen stuff even. Tomorrow, I just really have to move like the rest of my stuff. So the only stuff really that's left is like my bullet journal stuff and all of my work from home stuff, that all has to be handled tomorrow too. So yeah, I guess that's it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already.